Hello, my name is Eric Donenfeld, and today I'll be talking about LASIK flap customization, improving biomechanics, stability, and healing with the new Interlace 5th generation or IFS flap formation system. Now, there are several advantages to this new system. The first and the most obvious is the speed at which the ablation takes place. The flap is made in approximately 10 seconds compared to previous generations where the flap could take upwards of a minute. But speed of flap formation is probably the least important aspect of this new system. The spots are smaller, they're closer together, and there's less energy used. This makes a cleaner flap with less inflammation and a smoother bed for ablation. So let's take a look at the IFS system in operation. The first step, as with all intralace femtosecond lasers, is to dock onto the bed. Here you see this being accomplished, which is a very simple matter. Once the docking has taken place, a small adjustment can be made to make certain that the flap is centered over the pupil, and then we're ready to ablate. Here you see real-time ablation taking place, making an elliptical flap in a period of approximately 10 seconds. Notice that there is no OBL or opaque bubble layer. This is because we're using much lower levels of energy, the bubbles are much closer together, and this creates a much cleaner, clearer bed to optimize the bed ablation. Once we have made the flap, we're ready to lift the flap, and this is done in a conventional manner. In this case, we've made an inverse side cut. This allows for better stability of the cornea. The flap is elevated. Notice the elliptical bed, which optimizes the ablation profile. The advantage of an elliptical flap is that it provides symmetrical distribution of forces that matches the anatomic elliptical shape of the cornea. It prevents resection of the vital peripheral corneal fibers that aid in the biomechanical strength of the cornea. And I think very importantly, it moves a hinge peripherally for maximal stromal bed exposure and full delivery of the eczema ablation. This allows me to make a wider hinge for greater flap stability and improved preservation of corneal nerves, which should reduce the incidence of post-LASIK dry eye. In addition to the elliptical flap, the inverted bevel and side cut provides better wound healing, increased flap adhesion, and it's been shown by John Marshall that the tensile strength of the cornea is maintained, and Michael Norris has shown that there is three times more flap stability with the 150 degree side cut versus a microkeratome during flap lift. Here you see me again lifting another case. Notice that when I cross the cornea, it lifts very easily. I pop open the flap by just elevating the instrument. I lift it, again, very smooth. These flaps lift very similarly to a microkeratome flap versus the conventional flap that you would see with most femtosecond lasers. This is again because the spot sizes are smaller and more regular. When you look at a post-operative case of a inverted side cut, for the first 15 minutes or so, you'll see a large gutter. This slide is courtesy of Steve Slade, but notice that after 15 minutes, the flap has become remarkably stable, the gutter has disappeared, and you have a great looking gutter with a remarkably smooth corneal surface. The advantage of the elliptical flap and the inverted side cut are that we can now ablate and not have to cover the hinge. Here you see on the left an elliptical flap with the ablation well centered on the bed, whereas a conventional round flap would require protecting the hinge where we would lose some of the advantage of the peripheral ablation. This is all avoided with the IFS system. This animation best demonstrates the advantages of the reverse side cut. The cornea is innervated by corneal nerves that enter the eye from the periphery. The basic neurological principle of cutting a corneal nerve is that when the corneal nerve is cut, is to reoppose it as precisely as possible to return corneal innervation. With a traditional flap of a 30 degree side cut, like most keratomes make, the flap is elevated and the laser is performed and there is a flattening of the cornea. The LASIK flap is then placed back in position and at position is going to be haphazard because there is no landmarks to reoppose the flap into the peripheral bed as perfectly as possible. Because of this, the corneal nerves are not reopposed, 
as adequately and it takes longer for corneal innovation to return and innovation is not as effective as if the nerves had been opposed perfectly. With the new fifth generation femtosecond technology reverse side cut, this all changes. Now for the first time we can make a reverse side cut. We elevate the, corneal, the cornea, perform our ablation, and put the flap back into place. The flap is now locked into position like a tongue and groove, creating perfect apposition of the corneal nerves. And we have demonstrated that with this better apposition, there's a better return of corneal sensation. In a paper we presented at ASCRIS in 2010, corneal innovation was significantly improved and dry eye was significantly decreased with the use of the reverse side cut. I believe this is an important improvement over previous technology and will reduce the risk of dry eye in patients having LASIK surgery. In summary, the IFS system is a significant advance in flap formation. It now customizes the flap so that the surgeon can optimize the flap as well as the ablation to meet the patient's needs, reduce the incidence of dry eye, improve flap biomechanics, and create superior visual outcomes.